extraordinary young man. He, he had his whole life ahead of him. Um, I never seen Ross without a smile. And that's how he'll always remember Ross Booker, one of his tow truck drivers who was killed while cleaning up a crash two years ago. Good evening, I'm Brendan Morano. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. It's a day Tapman's towing and the Booker family will never forget. The 20-year-old was clearing debris of Windsor and Neal when a car hit him. The company is continuing to honor him today with a motorcade. And that's where we find WCI3's Amanda Brennan live. Amanda, the owner says events like today help with the healing process. That's right, Jennifer. I just talked to Jim Hampton minutes ago. He says today is all about supporting Ross Booker and his family. It's also part of the healing process, like you mentioned, and it's spreading awareness about slowing down and pulling over. Now, in just about a minute at 5.02 exactly, that's when Ross Booker died two years ago. About 12 cars will be taking out of Tapman's towing behind me and making their way to Cunningham. It'll start with the owner in the red truck behind me and then a slow down move over car after that as well as other Tapman's towing trucks. They'll be moving down Cunningham, going over to Neal, and then making their way to the crash site at Neal in Windsor. Now, another quick note that Jim Hampton had mentioned to me. He said Ross always had a smile on his face. He was extremely hardworking, sharing stories with me about some of his woodworking and things that he had up at home, as well as the classes he was taking at Parkland College. So I'm going to step out of the way here. This should be taking off just any minute now. It's 5.01, so in just one minute, you'll be able to see this. Now, eventually, they will be ending at St. Joseph um, in that town where Ross has called home. Here they go. They're taking off at 5.02. So they will be ending um, at the cemetery in St. Joseph. Of course, we will continue to bring you live updates throughout the 5 o'clock broadcast tonight, as well as at 6 and at 10. I will be talking to the family. I'll have their emotional story tonight at 10. For now, reporting live in Urbana, I'm Amanda Brennan, WCIA3, your local news leader. All right, Amanda, thank you so much. An emotional day for sure.